What I'd like to demonstrate today is something called a fuel cell. You've probably heard a lot about it in the news, but a fuel cell is a device that will take hydrogen gas and convert that into electricity. But it doesn't burn the hydrogen. The hydrogen is not burned as a fuel. All we're going to do is use the electrons off the hydrogen gas to be the electric current that we need. The nice thing about a fuel cell is we can use plain water as our source of fuel. We're going to put some energy into the water and separate the water into its two component parts, hydrogen and oxygen, and that's what we've done here. And the nice thing about it is the source of energy can be a solar cell, solar energy, the sunlight. Sunlight hits the solar cell, is converted to electricity, which then converts our source of water in these tubes into its component parts, hydrogen and oxygen. Then I can use the hydrogen to go through a fuel cell and create electricity to run some device, uh, a fan, anything in your home. That's just like anything that runs off of electricity. The byproduct of a fuel cell, interesting enough, is water. The hydrogen will recombine with oxygen, either from our other tank or oxygen in the atmosphere, and our byproduct will be water, pure clean water. That's a very nice byproduct from energy production. Interesting enough, a lot of the development in fuel cells has been from NASA, our space agencies. They use fuel cells on the space shuttle and the byproduct of their energy production is drinking water for the astronauts. So what I've done is I've placed this in the sun. I've separated the water into its two component parts. We have hydrogen and oxygen that go through these tubes into my fuel cell. When I give them a place to go, the hydrogen goes through the fuel cell, the electrons are stripped off the hydrogen atom, become the electric for the motor. And I can run a little fan or any other type of electrical device and the output from that is clean drinking water. Fuel cell. A lot of people believe this will be one of the fuels of the future, what's called a hydrogen economy, where we use hydrogen as electric energy source because it's non-polluting. The source of energy to create the hydrogen will be solar, wind, other renewable energy sources, so we're not burning fossil fuels or anything like that. And then we have our clean water, very nice. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.